blood and bites in the dark. Well, on this Halloween weekend, we thought it might be the right time to try to dispel some of the myths and misconceptions related to these flying mammals. Fox 5's Roy Hobbs has looked into whether we should really be afraid of the bats, and he says they can be man's best friend during the summer. Roy? You know, bats have been plagued by centuries, Russ, of negative and untrue stories, but believe it or not, Bats play a vital role in our lives. Not only do they pollinate fruits, they also take care of some other pesky creatures that make our lives miserable during the summer months. Jonathan Schaefer knows a lot about bats. He's in pest control, and for years he's been telling customers they need to attract bats to their homes. Now, why would you want to do something like that? Over the last hundred years, they've accumulated some data which suggests that, yes, the bats can control different kinds of pests. Of course, farmers have known this for a long time and uh, the impact that certain bats have had is just dramatic. Schaefer sells these, bat houses. That's right, bat houses. They're placed on your house to attract bats. For example, if you had a house in someone's yard and the bats would come out at, in the evening, they would immediately feed in that area. And that, that population of insects would drop and then of course the bats would move on out. So got what kind of insects do bats see as a delicacy? Well, how about blood-sucking mosquitoes? Schaefer says bats can wipe out thousands of mosquitoes in one night's feeding. Hard to believe? Well, just ask Vic Williamson. He had an attic full of bats and wanted to get rid of them, but because bats are an endangered species, he couldn't kill them. So he called an environmentalist who got them out and in the process learned why he wanted them back. They eat all the bugs and uh, they work close to Lake Lucerne, so they go down and get their water at the lake and get the bugs out of here. And it was just... Uh, they're nice neighbors. They're good neighbors. They keep the bugs away. That's the main reason. <laughs> Williamson put the bat house in the same spot where the bats were getting into his attic. Once the hole was repaired, that is. And he waited for them to come back, which brings us to the final lesson in this batty tale. You have more of a chance of getting, say, struck by lightning than you do of contracting rabies from a bat. They're great survivors. Now, this is a real live bat house. This one is a pretty large one. They can hold at least a dozen bats, but they come in all sizes. Jonathan Schaefer says they make great Christmas presents.